Patreon stuff today. The stickers, the journal page and the print, um, but I actually got this in the mail and I ordered some art supplies and I'm gonna show you what it is. So let me just open that. It's always nicely packaged. Um, whenever I order from Jackson's Art Supplies, that's where it's from. Because the shipping is pretty nice to Canada, it's a not a bad price. And they have all kinds of paint and art supplies. This is hard to do one-handed. A good alternative to bubble wrap. Ooh. Oh my gosh, I forgot I ordered so many. Okay, one, two, three. They're really cold. Four, five. So I know I don't really use Ecoline much, but I thought it'd be cool to get some more colors because I don't really have a good like mixing set because the red I have, um, I'll show you what red I have. So these are the ones that I have. Um, I have yellow, blue, um, I had this red, but I feel like this magenta will be better for mixing. Uh, I got purple, green, just like all the basic colors because I don't really want to waste this when I'm mixing colors, like some like troubleshooting. So I'm probably gonna use these for a painting soon. Um, I have a certain project coming up that I actually need to start planning today. So I'm gonna show you that. Um, it has to do with drawing a cowboy, but I'm gonna spin it in a way that is fun for me to draw. So, and I might use these because they're pretty vibrant and I haven't used them in a while. So I will show you that. And these came from Jackson's Art Supplies. Um, I think these ones I got for my birthday one year. They're just from the Sears, but the rest of them are from online. They're really cold from being outside, oh my gosh. So I'm actually working on this project, which is like a big landscape project. It's um, like 22 by 28 or something like that. It's, it's really big, that's in inches. Um, so I'm just trying to figure out what colors I wanna do because I started it, like this is just kind of all over the place and it was getting away from me. So I want it to be colorful, but that isn't really like a good way to plan it. You wanna make sure you know what you're doing before you jump in. So. I'm trying to f uh, figure out different color options. I usually do this for um, every piece that I do. This one isn't really done. Um, this one I'm working on, but I just wanted to show you um, what I do once I have like a basic sort of feel for the colors, because um, it's like, doesn't really have good contrast. So I usually go into the curves and I try to see what it would look like if I just adjusted the lightness a little bit down here. This is all in Procreate. So that looks a little bit better. And then I also like to do a layer on top of everything. And maybe set it to overlay. Um, and you find like a nice light color, some, something that you kind of want the lighting to be, or just some kind of color you want to overlay just to make it feel, have like a different mood, I guess. I'm um, using a big soft brush, it kind of looks like this. I actually want a bit of a lighter color. And I like to go in and just like see what I can get it to look like. Just by adding in some of this. And you might need to lower the opacity of uh, this layer once you're done. So I kind of want the light to be coming in from this direction. So I'm trying to make this in shadow, this in shadow, this have light, the face is here, but then have this sort of cast a shadow. Um, this is in shadow and it kind of, that's a little bit better. It just has a bit more vibrance to it. Um, and now I'm just going to change the hue of that layer down here. I can kind of give you a feel for what it can look like. 
Usually I like it to be warm, but is it gonna be yellow or pink? I don't know, I kind of like it the way I have it. So that's a little bit better. So this isn't really exactly what I have in mind. I'm just trying to, just kind of like playing around. So I'm just gonna go and grab, like what, what color do I want to include in this? Maybe, I don't really know. There's something about it that I, <laughs> I'm gonna go back to the curves. Oh, actually another good thing is color balance. So go back to your layer, color balance. And I go to shadows first. See, that looks a little more interesting. I might copy, I might actually move this down here to be another option. Okay, so I've brought the colors I was working on in that other file into my bigger one and I just started to paint over it a little bit so I went from there to there. Um, I'll try to zoom in so you can see there's like some, I'm adding some texture in places. I played with the line art layer a little bit. I'm trying to like figure out where I want what color and once everything's sort of in its place then I start to clean it up. So this is probably going to take a really long time. Um, but I just, I want it to be good, so I want to spend the time on it and try to make it nice. Because digital stuff always takes so much longer than traditional for me. And what I want is like, I want the things in the foreground, especially this house, to have more contrast and color punchiness. And then it's going to get more gestural as it gets towards the back. I want it to feel like a painting, sort of, but I don't know, I actually want it to be like, sort of like pencil crayon-y and like soft texture. drawing the cowboy one. I'm making cowboy cats just because I want to and because I can. Um, so I'll show you like what I've done so far. This is my initial brainstorming to try and get ideas out there and write stuff down and just explore different visuals and then I did some horse studies just trying to figure out how to draw them and I did this color study of like kind of what I want it to look like. Just a little experiment and I did a bunch of different thumbnails of different landscapes. So I know I wanted to do a winter landscape just because it's winter right now. I just kind of felt like it and I like this one but I thought it would look better as a portrait so I changed it into that. Used the black and white, made it really big and used it as a sort of guide for the sketch. And then I actually just used a sketch from before and now I made that really, well I actually figured out some colors as well. And then I tried a different one no, that's just me playing with the colors until we came here. Yeah, you can see I used the liquify tool to kind of move things around. Um, and now we're here and I just turned off all the color layers, made this really light. And now I'm just doing the clean sketch. So I'm gonna do that now. And yes, this cat is wearing a cowboy hat on top of a hood because it's cold. Like, I can't 
can't really have this port open because when you're used to having like 50 Now I'm at the stage where I'm going to start doing some pencil crayon. I just did the basic colors of everything, laid everything down. Um, I'm using my color reference as a guide. This is just the color mock-up I did. I think I made some of the colors a little too intense, but there's no line work or anything, so that's why it looks kind of flat and weird and kind of blobby, but if you push past this stage and just start to kind of like chisel out the details with some pencil, I kind of want this to be a very pencil heavy illustration. If it ends up being that way, I'll see if it works out. So I just wanted to make sure all the main colors were down before I started the pencil because I don't want to fill in huge areas with pencil. So now I'm going to get into doing that. I'm going to start with this dark brown. I like to sharpen things with a knife just because I find I break the lead less when I do that. Okay, so I need to remember I shouldn't outline every single line. You just don't need to do that but sometimes I kind of go into autopilot and start to just outline everything. Kind of do some lines, look at it, st step back, or move your head away from it. In my color mock-up sort of thing, I have a little, it's a little more purple. So I kind of want to bring that in. I kind of regret what I did here. Oh good, it kind of erased nicely. Mm, it's kind of saturated for what I want. I've been leaving my fingerprint all over the place, but that's okay because I'm going to be um, fixing this up digitally a little bit just adding like little surface effects and like splatters and stuff like that to it so that I don't have to commit with it traditionally so I can play around with where I want those little like hits of stuff to go so I just finished the project um, this is it printed out I need to trim off the edges and mount it to a board but that's it done and I finished um, the traditional one 
and scanned it in. It actually printed more purple, but that's okay. Scanned it in and painted over it traditionally just to like add the little details. Um, I just kind of like to do that. I feel like it gives me more control and it allows me to start with a good base of colors so I don't have to like block everything in digitally and it looks too stiff and computer made. So I hope this video was interesting to you just to see me kind of work on something and do some other tasks. Make sure to check out my Patreon to get monthly packages sent to you. There's a exclusive print every time, a field journal page or research journal page and stickers, and sometimes I even do buttons on there. You can also see behind the scenes sketches. So for example, I posted all the sketches of this before I'm posting this video, so, so my patrons got to see it all first and that sort of thing. So check that out if you're interested. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.